Welcome back folks, this is your idea development session. In this session we're going to be doing all the things like developing concepts, generating ideas. Um, remember when you're putting everything into your blogs later on today um, that we have to start looking at what um, idea development means. What um, And this should all go into your idea development folder. Your Anything that you do in this session goes into your idea development folder. Um, yeah, can't make that any clearer. Please, 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 can you then um, later on today upload anything from this session into your idea development folder? Okay, we have a little look. Today you will need a pen or a pencil and some paper. Just a few sheets is should be absolutely fine. Please get them ready now. I'll let you pause this video and go and get them. So pause now. Okay, so now you're back. Um, great stuff. Okay, yeah, remember we are in week two, like I said in the last session, digital illustration. Um, this all goes towards your assignment. Um, everything that you learn in, this, in these sessions should in some way um, be able to help you in, some, in even if just in a small part towards your assignment um, that you were given on Monday. And yet, yeah, as we know, we are week two. Um, week two, digital illustration. As said before in the last video, all these are all the online classroom expectations. Please be patient when you're contacting me. If you want to send me um, any work or anything written, that's fine. Please send it me through the chat function and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Um, and please back up all your work each evening. Okay, today we're going to be developing the understanding and importance of sketching and experimentation. Why do we sketch? Why do we do experimentation? This sort of thing. Um, we're going to be developing the graphic design process techniques and also gaining further understanding of pros and cons of design. So today you must at least produce three sketches. Um, you should produce at least three sketches and say what are the pros and cons of each one. So like we said, annotation, how do you annotate a piece of work? Say so I like this bit, bit about it, I don't like that bit about it. And we're also, you could um, produce at least three sketches and act upon the pros and cons discussed to initiate a final design that we'll come to at the end. Okay, so the eyeball text, sketches. I'm going to be looking at your sketches when I open up your blogs. I want to see these sketches in there. Um, you may have to, um, yeah, because we're going to be doing them on paper. Please um, upload two or three images um, so we can see your sketches of each. Right, okay, why do we make sketches? And why should we make sketches and what sketches should sketches be? Just think about this for a second. I'll let you pause it just for a couple of minutes. Well, the reason why do we make sketches or should we make sketches? It's basically to get our initial ideas that that little image that we see in our head straight down on paper. You know, this and what should they be? They, they should be rough very rough is the main thing with this we're not looking for a beautiful piece of illustration we're looking so that if I say to you um, a dolphin or something like that and you've got a picture of a dolphin in your head you take less than 15 seconds to sketch what you see in your head so I'm talking circles I'm talking ovals I'm talking um, like a fin round in a circle is it a circular design that sort of thing a sketch should take you no time whatsoever it should be quick it should be rough it should get your idea straight onto the paper as quickly as you possibly can okay we have a look at the assessment criteria for this for the past you will need to generally competent use of development process and sufficient idea generation experimentation and review to find solutions this is what we're doing today a bit of idea generation um, for the merit, you'll need sound use of idea generation, experimentation, testing and review. So that's going to be like you're doing your sketches, you're, you're developing them, you're moving them on. You, you're showing there's a clear pathway between um, your sketch and your next developed process. It should be clear and consistent reflection on work showing emerging awareness of how solutions are related to independent, intended meaning, purpose and function so the whole thing of this is consistency consistent reflection evaluation evaluation is a consistent reflection on your work so it shows you you're becoming more and more aware um, how the pros and cons of your piece are um, and just for a distinction at the end of this you'll need thorough engagement and confident application of ideas generation experimentation testing and review used to make considered choices 
sustained use of reflection to develop a critical understanding of how solutions align with the intended meaning, purpose and function of work. So basically this is taking it up a level. If you show, take the first bit, thorough engagement and confident application. This is the sort of like area that we're looking at. Uh, if you want to be getting a distinction, it's got to be thorough. It, you've got to show annotation. You've got to show design. You've got to show um, evaluation, all these things, um, and a high level of that. Okay, so let's think about safeguarding um, today. So what's a stereotype? Just think in your head, what is a stereotype and what do these headlines tell us about teenagers in the UK? Uh, please write these on a document and you're more than welcome to copy them. Paste them in the chat function to me. I'll give you 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. Right, OK, we're back. Right. Well, what I would suggest then is and they should probably have all got this then that these headlines tell you that you know teenagers are unruly mobs i realize some of you may fit into the category of an unruly mob but only in a joking sense these tell people these tell old people they should be scared of young people they should be scared of teenagers in the uk a, a, a stereotype has been given um and they you know this is basically telling people that you cannot trust young people you know this gives across this is a perfect example of what a stereotype is these are actual quite quotes from um newspapers this is the top one talking about um mo farah um mo farah the runner says he he was a devout muslim but he was a normal kid who loved manchester united and played football and cricket Former classmates of Miss Belgian said she had gone from being a normal girl to do a devout Muslim almost overnight. That's the Daily Mail, 11th of February 2006. And the third one is an actual quote. Women are being forced to dress like Daleks. That is in the Sun, 7th of August 2009. Please, um, what do these suggest? Please also put into your uh, document that you created... Um, about for safeguarding stereotypes this uh, uh, this one please put um, what you think these suggest what are the dangers of stereotyping please add at least one sentence into this to say what the dangers are of stereotyping okay um, we can probably see the, the, the dangers of stereotyping being that people get a false view of a group of people. A fear, a level of fear is created um, a, around a group of people. Be this immigrants, be this teenagers, um, newspapers thrive. This sort of thing absolutely thrive on stereotyping. If they can pigeonhole somebody um, and give them a stereotype, then the country begins to have an opinion about a super certain group of people an opinion that may not be true as we see from as we see from quotes such as these absolutely outrageous um, we can see that what they're trying to say is that Muslim is opposed to being normal so we look in the first one he was a devout Muslim but he was a normal kid but why is it not normal this is what you should be asking yourself when you read things like this. Former classmates of Miss Belgium say she said she had gone from being a normal girl to a devout Muslim. Normal. Again, being used. This is the word normal. And again, women are being forced to dress like Daleks. Ab absolute disgusting line there that cannot be justified, I feel. It um, gives a stereotype makes it makes the people reading it finger pointers um these we should have be able to find at least three or four dangers of stereotyping that we can add into this document like i said once you've finished this please forward it to me through the chat, chat function and have a little look over them as soon as i can get to them okay so let's go on with the task pick one of these and don't change Logo for a petting zoo. Logo for a band, the cockroaches. 
Um, any of the, any of you who um, know my preference for the Wiggles will know that before the Wiggles, they were a band called the Cockroaches. Just letting you know, fun fact. Okay, logo for a petting zoo, logo for a brand. Petting zoo, cuddly zoo. Logo for a chocolate company, whoosh. Logo for a games company, Dog Star. Or a logo for a drinks company, Blue Turtle. Now you have seven minutes to research similar logos or illustrations. I suggest you find different pictures, anything that anything that shows these. Um, look at bands logos. What do their logos look like? Look at chocolate company logos. Look what their logos look like. Um, so if we're doing something like the drinks company and blue turtle, you don't want it looking like a logo that would um, be used for an insurance company. A drinks company is fun and vibrant, that sort of thing. For a petting zoo, it, it additionally looks soft, something nice. Cuddly zoo, the cockroaches, whoosh, dog star and blue turtle. Okay, you have seven minutes to research similar logos or illustrations for these and your time starts now. Right, okay then, so you're all back after seven minutes. So you should have a brief idea of um, some illustrations, some logos, that sort of thing. Um, let's get our pens and paper ready, please. Right, you've got five minutes for your chosen logo. Please create a quick sketch, the first thing that comes into your mind. This should be rough and just a general idea. We're talking basic shapes, basic lines, rough drawing. Five minutes, starting now. Right, okay, now then, now we've got um, our basic logos. Right, what I want you to do is quickly create two more sketches, all different from each other. So you eventually have three ideas on one page. Once you've completed these, please annotate each of your images with what you like and what you don't like about each one. Um, your new sketches can look a little bit more evolved, a little bit more created, um, but when you create this, I'd like you to name it Logo Sketches, photograph it and upload to your desktop um, you will be uploading these later onto your blog but just for the minute straight to your desktop get these photos onto your machine okay you have 25 minutes to create these two additional sketches so you'll eventually have three ideas on the page your 25 minutes begins now okay so why did we do this what do you think is the importance of basic sketching and experimentation? Well, like I said before, the whole idea of basic sketching is to get your ideas straight onto um, the page in front of you so that you can then work it out, so that you can then develop it, develop it into a concept, something that looks different from everybody else. If we don't do these basic sketches and we go directly into something like Illustrator and begin doing it, then we might start copying other people's designs. We might think that um, right the best thing to do is just find a picture of a dolphin on um, Google Images and trace around it and then that's going to be adequate well no it's not because in doing that you are in some aspect you are breaking the copyright of whoever created that original image you aren't creating anything about it um, a certain level of editing um, will be would be sufficient but when you when you are creating something in a freelance job you're going to want to create something original for the client the client is looking for something original um, lots of people can find just a picture of any old dolphin and then stick it on that's fine but the reason we're basic sketching is so that they've come to you because they've probably seen your style they've seen the way that you work the sort of things that you produce and they're wanting you to produce something for them in a similar style so this is why we do basic sketching and experimentation um, if I was sketching, say, a dolphin, I might do about five or six different sketches, all different sorts of dolphins, different positions. Are they wanting a happy dolphin? Is it something that's like um, light-hearted and fun, like a water park, so you'd have lots of nice colours? Or is it something like for an insurance company that might want, say, a silhouette, or they might just want the outline of the head of a dolphin, something to suggest a dolphin? So think about what is the importance of basic sketching and experimentation. Okay, for the rest of the session, um, if you have the means, 
please can you now digitize your sketch I'd like you to go to Illustrator and create um, your sketch as close as possible that you can in um, in, Ill in Illustrator using um, tools such as the pen tool such as the paint tool um, you may also use Photoshop if you so wish if the if you feel this is a little bit um, above your level of understanding currently you're more than welcome to also use um, you may also use paper but then create one design one sketch that you feel is um, a finalized sketch of all the three sketches you made so when you've been um, putting on your annotation like I asked on your first three sketches then um, acting upon the annotation so the good bits that you found about um, some of your first efforts then you can now put that onto um, your final design the bad bits will take them away we'll create one sketch from the whole thing that we've found that is going to be our finalized version um, please can you also uh, if at all possible please digitize this using an online um, either an online version of Photoshop or Illustrator or the Adobe software um, anybody who can't do this like I said please if you can produce um, a manual one using pens and paper that will, that is fine for the moment okay but um, we are going to have to start getting used to digitizing our imagery okay so that please put all your sketches and final logo design into one document called developing a logo so at the end of today's session you should have three of your basic sketches and then one final sketch um, called developing a logo I'll let you go on to that now um, please look what the time is um, you have until 1 p.m. in order to do this um, I'll let you crack on with that now and yeah and then you're free for your lunch break you lucky lucky people so what we're going to do today think about it just have in your head give me one thing and think why do we do it let's think sketching let's think experimentation have it clear in your head by the end of this session why we do sketching why we do experimentation okay so until two o'clock thank you very much and i'll speak to you soon